Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be showing you how to process a credit note within Session of Devolution. Let us start the process by processing an invoice. So I need to go to my inventory transactions and I'll go to invoice. And I'll specify the customer details. And it's now a case of adding the line items to form part of the invoice. I'm going to add a couple of line items just to showcase the different scenarios that you may encounter when processing a credit note. And I'm also going to include a serialized item so that we can see the process when serialized items are returned on the credit note. And I just need to specify the serial numbers that form part of the invoice. Right, so I've got my items there, required four, specified four units. And I've got my details here, and I can now complete the invoice. I'm say process. And I'm going to go print the invoice document all our details there and what we also have is the serial numbers that form part of this item on the invoice. Right, close the invoicing screen and the invoice transaction has now been completed. So it may happen that the customer has now returned some of those items that they purchased and we would now need to go process a credit note to document the return transaction. Close the invoicing screen and I'm going to go through to transactions credit note. And I'm now going to locate the invoice that's going to perform part of the credit note. So I'm going to use the open button. And I've got a couple of filter criteria here that I can make use of. So firstly, I'm going to change the document type from CRN to INV. I can use the transaction date as a filter and I can also use the customer information. So I'm going to find the customer who processed the invoice form. Right, there we go. INV document type, the transaction date and the account. And I'm going to click on find. Right, so there's our invoice. We've got the details there. The state is an archived invoice. And now we've got a very useful feature called load as linked. The load as linked is now going to bring all the line items from the invoice and load them onto the credit note screen. So I'm going to, I've highlighted the invoice or the line item, and I'm going to click on load as linked. And we've got our details there. So these are the four items or line items that were part of the invoice. And now it's very often that the customer may have only returned certain of the items. So I can then go through line items and specify exactly the quantities which have been returned. Right, so in line number one, perhaps five were ordered and the full five were returned. On line number two, we had seven sold. And to say, for example, six were returned. And then on this line item, four was sold and one was returned. And then let's just look at the uh, serialized item where we know four units were sold and let's just say three were returned. 
In that case, I need to go to my serial numbers, numbers and specify exactly which serial numbers we turn. So I'll out the number and we can say these were the three serial numbers which were returned by the customer. Required three, I've specified three items or three serial numbers. Right, and there we have it. So I've got my invoice number, the credit note number, and I've specified the quantities of units that were returned by the customer, and they've now formed part of the credit note. So I'm going to say process. And I can now view the credit note document. Right, so there's my details credit note. And I've got details of the items that were returned by the customer and as well as the serial numbers that were returned. And I can say close and complete the transaction. At this particular point, I'm able to allocate the credit note to the invoice. So I can say click on allocations. And I've got my details here. So now it's a case of highlighting the invoice and then using the drop and drag feature to allocate the credit note to my invoice. I'm going to highlight the credit note and drop and drag it onto the invoice. And I can specify an amount to allocate there. In this case, it's the full amount. So OK to that. I've got my allocation there. And I can simply go save the allocation that I've done. So I say save. And we've got the invoice and the credit note being allocated. And I can close the allocation screen. And there's the process completed. Let's just go see what has happened on the customer's account. So I'm going to go through to customers. And let's just go find customer. Right, there we have it. I'm just going to go right click and say inquire. And there's my details. So there's my invoice credit note. And you'll see that there's a referencing of the credit note to the invoice. And I can simply highlight the document, right click, and I can say source. And I can now go into the source of the document, which is the credit note. Right, that's the customer side. Let's just go see what has happened to the stock items. So if we, for example, take our uh, serialized item, I'm going to go to inventory, inventory items, and let's just go find the item so we know it's the item code. Right-click, inquire. Right, and there we have it. So there's our invoice where the four units were sold and then the three units were returned on the credit note. And if I go to my serial numbers tab, we can go find one of the items. So for example, let's just say there's my serial number. And what you see there is it's got details about the invoice, which was issued, and then a credit note where the item was returned, and there's a referencing of the invoice number. So as you can see, it's got full details of the movement of the serial number uh, upon invoicing, as well as when the serial number was returned the credit note. And there are my details per individual serial numbers. And that is the process now complete. Invoice was processed. The goods were returned. We've loaded the document as linked, specified the exact details of the items being returned, and processed the credit note, and if need be, allocated the credit note to the invoice. So thank you for watching our presentation today. It's over and out for me, and goodbye.